Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a mole with mole paste. This is already done, almost done for you, but you still need to do one more thing. And I'm going to use this mole paste, this uh, mole for making enchiladas, which I will do in another video. So, here we go. Uh, what you're going to do is cook the chicken. If you don't know how to do it, you, I'm going to leave the uh, video right here on the so that you can just click on it or in the description box and what you're just basically going to cook the chicken and when it's done you're going to take out the meat and you're going to strain the um, chicken broth because I cooked this with herbs, onion and you don't want that on the mole okay you just want the broth and that's why you want to strain it so let's get started Okay, so I have a uh, saucepan in here, and I'm going to add a, some oil, maybe about four tablespoons of oil. Mole has a lot of oil in it. It's not a fat-free dish. Um, so basically, I'm just going to wait here for 30 seconds so that the oil gets a little bit hot, and then I'm going to pour the whole thing here. I'm going to do the whole thing because in the house we're four people, so we eat a lot of people. But if you if you're in home and it's just you and somebody else, I really suggest you just do half of it, and then just put the all the rest in the refrigerator, and it can last you a long time in there. I'm gonna add the whole thing. And I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna lower the heat to low heat, and I'm just going to kind of undo the whole thing here. And you know, it depends on moles and the brand you use. All moles are different from others, so uh, may it may be that some moles require a lot of liquid in order to get it done but some of them they, they don't require too much I mean it, it depends on the recipe that uh, the person who did the mole did so what you want to do is just fry it a little bit here for one or two minutes in the oil just kind of uh, let it here to saute a little bit and keep your low heat because mole is a very complicated thing and if you uh, have the heat on high you will burn it so um, as soon as your pan gets hot just lower the heat so I'm gonna add first, uh, first one cup just add it like that don't worry about it and you are going to um, move this around, you know, trying uh, to, uh, and now it's becoming like a sauce. I don't know if you can see that. As you add the chicken broth, you will see if you need more. Like uh, right now, this is too thick for enchiladas. So I will add another cup of it. Okay, I've added another cup of it and I'm going, I have it still on low heat. And I'm just kind of moving it here, you know, so that we can see what kind of um, texture we want. If you just want to serve your mole with chicken and rice, you just, basically this is the consistency you're looking for. Not too thin, not too thick. And uh, if you would use it for just mole and uh, chicken, uh, you just leave it here for about, let's say, 20 minutes simmering in the lowest heat possible. But, I am making enchiladas. And for enchiladas, it's a different texture. Okay, so I've added another half a cup to it. And sometimes, as um, it starts simmering, sometimes it would still be thickening. And you will still need to be adding 
chicken broth. So that's why when you uh, buy mole, it's the brand is very important because this way you will know uh, for how many servings you're going to need it. If you run out of chicken broth, you can still add uh, water. Don't worry about it. If it's just half a cup or one cup and you didn't have uh, enough chicken broth, just add plain water. So I'm just going to wait here for one minute till the um, mole starts simmering. So just leave it here for about 20 minutes here simmering. You should be able to just have it bubbling a little bit like this one so that it don't get burned again. I know I keep repeating uh, that you uh, you can burn the mole but trust me mole it is a very delicate dish that you should not cook in high temperature. So I'm just gonna leave it here and I'll be back when this is done. So after 20 minutes just turn it off and it, this is already done for making enchiladas or just mole with chicken or tamales you have a lot of options with this dish and if you want to check out how to make the enchiladas I'm gonna leave you uh, the, this video right here so that you can take a look at it is this is so easy to make is this because we are making it from a paste but one day I will show you how to make it from scratch it's a very complex dish but it's also very very delicious so let's say you just want to serve this with chicken you just put one piece of chicken on your platter and just like that you just add the mole on top as you can see it's very very runny but I did this for enchiladas I just I'm just only showing you how you can serve it with just a piece of chicken and a little bit of rice you can do it and I'm gonna leave you a picture right here so I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial don't forget to subscribe and see you next time